If you hear a wasp buzzing around in your garden, or find a wasp nest attached to your house or shed, don't panic. It's probably a mud daub or wasp. Queensland Backyard Bugs and Birds Mud daub or wasps look a bit scary, but are actually quite harmless and non-aggressive, as long as you leave them alone. Like all wasps, if they feel threatened, they'll give a painful sting, so best to observe them from a distance. These wasps are solitary, and they live all over Australia in forests, woodland, and urban gardens and parks. Mud dauber is a common name for wasps that make their brood nest with mud. I've observed orange potter wasps, yellow potter wasps, and bars-celled mud daubers. Although their appearance varies greatly, mud daubers generally are from half an inch to one inch long. Their body shape is typically thread-waisted, with some mud daubers possessing an extremely long and thin, stretched out looking body segment located between the thorax and the abdomen. This video is about the bars celled mud dauber. Around November or December, they start to appear around gardens as they look for places to build their mud nests. These are the wasps that have wintered as pupae, became wasps and are ready to start their own family. After mating, the female builds her nests of mud or clay rolled into a ball that she collects from a mud puddle or a creek bank. It has to be just the right mud and she will work hard to clear a patch just so she can get it. She will often attach it to a wall and fashion it with her mandibles to look a little like a swallow's nest with a narrow neck. She generally makes one cylindrical cell per day and spends the remaining time on levelling or building up her nest. Occasionally a wasp might build a whole series of nests in a row and you may see her skills and technique improve from one to the next. She emits a high-pitched buzz while working the nest, which helps to distribute the mud evenly. After completing the mud nest, the female captures several insects or spiders to provision the cells with larvae in it. Sometimes she'll seal the empty nest until the next day. This is to keep parasitic wasps and flies from getting in and laying their eggs in the nest overnight. Then she'll uncap it and fill it with spiders. They are stung and paralysed before being placed in the nest. If she were to kill them, they'd decompose before the grub got to eat them. And this is the only time they hunt for spiders, because adult wasps only eat nectar and pollen. A single egg is deposited on one of the spiders within each cell and the cell is sealed with mud. Then after completing a series of cells, the wasp departs and does not return again. Inside the cell, the egg will hatch and the larvae will eat the food and they grow very quickly. When it has eaten all the food left by its parent, its behaviour changes. It begins to rotate its head 
and if you look closely, you'll notice it's spinning a cocoon. When it's finished making its cocoon, the grub inside begins to change shape and after a few weeks it becomes an adult wasp. After some time, it's ready to face the world. It chews its way out of the cell by wetting the cap on the inside, then pushing it out. Free at last, ready to go off and start the process again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.